Hey guys, we're doing the part four of Walking with Dinosaurs. You're right! Tariq and Tanya, and we are doing part four of our Walking with Dinosaurs series. The skull was quite large in proportion to the rest of the body. A noticeable difference was a horn that was situated on the skull just behind the nostrils. Remains were mostly found in North America, although more recent discoveries have been no noted in Tasmania and Portugal. It is estimated that the Ceratosaurus could run at speeds of 20 to 30 miles per hour, just like its close relative, the T-Rex. Some scientists believe that the Ceratosaurus fed on both plant-eating dinosaurs and fish. was a small stegosaur. It had a small head, long neck, short front limbs, and long back limbs. It had a long tail. They could grow up to 5.5 meters or 18 feet and weigh up to 700 kilograms or 1,500 pounds. Not bad for a plant eater. The candle source lived in the late Jurassic period. During the late Cretaceous period, these dinosaurs could be found roaming about what and what we know as Alberta, Canada. It is believed that these creatures traveled in packs unlike other theropod dinosaurs. The Albertosaurus was larger than most theropods but smaller than the Turbosaurus and the T-Rex. The typical Albertosaurus was, was about 8 to 9 meters or 26 to 30 feet long while rare individuals could grow up to be 10 meters or 33 feet long. It is estimated that the Albertosaurus could weigh up between 1.3 to 2.5 tons. The body of these Greek bonds was covered with scales which could be shaped like a hexagon or a diamond. 
Like the T-Rex, the Albertosaurus also fed on both live prey and dead animals. The classification of the Albertosaurus have changed many times and may continue to do so as the more specimens are discovered.